This video is for students of economics. It's about shortages and surpluses. The topic of surpluses and shortages is easy to explain by using supply and demand, but it's often difficult for people to understand. For example, let's look at the headlines. There is a shortage of food and labor and semiconductors and chips. Basically, we have a shortage of everything and soon we'll have nothing left. But I found one article, one article about the surplus. It's a surplus of honey. We may have a shortage of everything, but at least we got honey. But let's put fake news aside and see what the real science has to say. And the science of economics has supply and demand. In this video you can learn about supply and demand, but if you don't have time, let me give you a quick recap of supply and demand. Supply and demand is a graph. When the vertical axis represents the price and the horizontal axis represents the quantity. And you'll never believe it, but supply and demand is about supply and demand. Supply goes up and demand goes down. And supply is the relationship between prices and quantities that sellers want to sell. And demand is the relationship between prices and quantities that buyers want to buy. Supply goes up, demand goes down, they have to intersect. And the point of the intersection is called the market equilibrium. And the market equilibrium has the equilibrium price and equilibrium quantity. And what is so special about the equilibrium price is the fact that at this price, and this price only, the quantity that buyers want to buy equals the quantity that sellers want to sell. In economics, we say that the quantity demanded equals the quantity supplied. The market clears and there are no shortages and no surpluses. The equilibrium price is that magical price at which miracles happen. Supply meets demand and how much buyers want to buy is exactly how much sellers want to sell. There are no shortages and no surpluses all thanks to the equilibrium price. But what if the actual price is not at the equilibrium level? What if sellers made a mistake and set the price too high or too low, above or below the equilibrium level? What will happen then? Nothing good. If the actual price is above or below the equilibrium level, then supply will not meet the demand, then how much buyers want to buy will not equal how much sellers want to sell, and there will be too much being produced or too little being produced. There will be surpluses or shortages. Look at this problem. If the price is fixed at $7, what will happen on the market? Notice that supply meets demand at the equilibrium, at which the equilibrium price is $5 and the equilibrium quantity 4 units. But the price is fixed at $7, and at $7 supply will not meet the demand. The equilibrium is not going to happen. If the market equilibrium is not going to happen, then what will happen? At the price of 7, the quantity that buyers want to buy, quantity demanded, equals 2. But the quantity that sellers want to sell, quantity supplied, equals 6. So sellers want to sell more than buyers want to buy. There is too much being produced. It's a surplus, surplus of four units. 
And to get rid of the surplus, sellers will most likely cut the price towards $5. Here's a similar question. If the price is $2, so that it's below the equilibrium level, what will happen on the market? At the price of $2, the quantity that sellers want to sell, the quantity supplied, equals 1. But the quantity that buyers want to buy, quantity demanded, equals 7. So that sellers want to sell less than buyers want to buy. There is too little produced. There is a shortage, a shortage of 6 units. And to fill up this shortage, sellers will likely raise the price from $2 to $5, at which the market will clear. And now let's look at the articles again. Even if there are food shortages, they will not last. The prices will rise and eliminate the shortage. If there are labor shortages, the prices, in this case wages, will rise and eliminate the shortage. If there are shortages of semiconductors, the prices will rise and eliminate the shortage. If there is a shortage of chips, the prices will rise and eliminate the shortage. And if there is a surplus of honey, the prices will fall and eliminate the surplus. All these so-called shortages and surpluses are not real, and journalists should learn economics. In my next video you can learn how to solve other type of problems, problems when you need to take supply or demand curve and shift it, shift it to the right or to the left. So stay tuned and thank you for watching this video on shortages and surpluses.